Welcome to this short introductory video on MyOtCo, your online organic certification management tool. This information is specific to you and your operation. This is the most current information we have on file for you. Once you log in, you'll find yourself on the dashboard page. This is where you can see a snapshot of your file. Here, you will also notice a small icon on the right-hand side of the screen. You can click this icon on any of the tabs to pull up an FAQ window with additional information or helpful links to our website. On the dashboard, you can see who your client service team is, including their contact information like phone number and their email. You're also able to view any findings, including your open action items, reminders, or non-compliances. You are also able to view where you are in the inspection cycle. This includes your auditor's name, phone number, and email, as well as where in the process you currently are. At the bottom of the screen, you can easily download a copy of your active certificate by clicking the icon. Next, let's look at your operation information. Here on the operation information tab, you can see all the information we have for you currently listed, including your client ID, your name of your company, any DBAs that we might have on file for you, and your preferred communication. If you have any facility addresses, you can view them by clicking the drop down button on the right hand side. Here you will see your mailing, billing, and the address of the location of your additional facility. At the bottom of the screen, you can see additional contact information. This includes any phone numbers we have on file for you, email, and your website. Next, let's take a deeper dive into your contacts. On the contacts page, you can see who your primary contact is, any additional contacts, if you're in a production partnership, who your fees contact is, and who we have listed as your legally responsible contact. If you do need to update your contacts at any time, you can start by clicking this icon on the right hand side. This will pull up a window where you can easily access the link to our website to download the blank form. Once you've completed the form, please send it to your client service delivery team, or you may submit it via organic at tilth.org. Next, let's look at your files. These are all your active files. In the files tab, you can see all the current files we have for your operation. While you may not be able to upload any new documents here, you can download any document at any time. To search for a certain document, you can start by clicking into the column. Type in the word that you are looking for. You can also sort alphabetically by clicking the column. If you need to download all of your OSP documents, you can do so by checking this box. Then go ahead and click the export button. If you only need to download one or two documents at a time, you can do so by checking the box next to the document and then clicking the download button. Next, let's look at your certification services. This is where you can see a snapshot of all the services that you are currently certified for or in the process of becoming certified for. You can also see important information, including the effective date of your certification as well as your renewal date. Next, let's look at audit orders. Audit orders are related to your inspections. Here you can see the year in which the inspection is supposed to take place as well as where in the process you are and the type of inspection. Here you can see where in the process of the inspection you are, or if your review has been finished, you can see your certification results. If you are looking for additional information on preparing for your inspection, you can easily find the link to our website via the icon. For more information on understanding the inspection process or preparing for your audit, please visit our website.
Next, let's look at your certificates. Here on the Certificates tab, you're able to view and download your certificate. To do so, start by clicking the icon with the little ribbon on it. This will download to your browser. To view the certification details that are listed on your certificate, go to the Certification Details tab. Here you are able to see all the information related to any of the products listed. If you do need updates or changes to your certificate, please contact your client service delivery team. Here on the Products tab, you're able to view all the items that we currently have certified for you. You are able to view any active or inactive items. You can also search for your product name by typing in to the product name the keyword you are looking for. If you need to export a list of all of the products listed on your certificate, you may do so by clicking the Excel button on the right. The Livestock tab is where you can find all the livestock listed on your certificate. If you have livestock certified, you can see all the current livestock we have listed in your OSP right here on this tab. If you need to export a list of your livestock, you can do so by clicking the checkbox and selecting the export button on the right. Next, let's look at the Fields and Crops tab. Here you can view the parcel name, location, crop, and variety. Here you also have the ability to search for certain crops. You can start by typing a keyword into the column. If you need to export a list of all your current crops, you may do so by clicking the export button on the right hand side. If your operation has any farm products, you can view them here. You can also use a search function at the top of the page or type into the column in the products section. If you would like to look at any inactive products, you can also do that by clicking under the status button selecting inactive and hitting search. The inputs tab is where you will find a list of all the materials we have on file for you. You can view them here, export, or print a copy of your e-materials list. To print a copy of your e-materials list, you will do so by clicking the print button. Next, when you select the little printer icon, it will create a copy of your e-materials list for you. Next, let's view the findings tab. Here, you will be able to see all your current open findings. This includes any open and active action items, reminders, or non-compliances. You will also notice that any overdue non-compliances are highlighted in red. You can view the due date by locating the due on tab. Lastly, let's talk about users. One handy function of Myoco is that you can issue a Myoco account to anyone associated with your file. They will be given a Myoco login and access to your account at any time. To issue access, please follow the following steps outlined. First, you will start by selecting the new icon. Next, you will type in the name of the person that you would like to add to your Myoco account. The manage user will grant the user you're adding the ability to add other users. You do not have to click this button unless you would like the new user to be able to also add other users. Next, you will notice the light is gray. This means that the user is inactive. In order to activate the user, 
you will need to check the checkbox next to their name and click the issue web access. Here, a message window will open where you can type a short note letting them know you're issuing them access to your MyOtco account. After you have issued access, the user will receive an email. They will need to follow the instructions in the email in order to be able to create their account and have access to your MyOtco at any time. Thank you for watching our video on how to best utilize MyOtco. We hope that you have found this instructional video helpful. For any additional questions or feedback, please contact us via our website or organic at TILF.